In problem number 28 of section 3.5, we're given two functions, uh, x to the m and x to the n, where assuming that m is greater than n, and we're asked to find the area if we of the uh, area if we revolve or excuse me, find the volume of the solid described by taking the region between those two graphs from zero to one and revolving that around the x-axis. So since uh, m is greater than m or n, uh, we have that um, x to the n is going to be greater than x to the m. Uh, I should say greater than or uh, well, it's strictly greater than, so I can say m is strictly greater than n, so I can say that x to the n is st strictly greater than x to the m um, for every x in the interval 0, 1. So what we're really interested in is, okay, this is going to be, um, let's see, hang on. So we're going to have x to the n above x to the m. So what we're interested in is the area bounded between the two graphs. That's what we're interested in first, and then we'll revolve that region around the x-axis. So the area for um, area between the two graphs is well, that's equal to well, hang on, let's see. That's right. That's not quite the approach we want to take. The approach we want to take is um, using washers. So if we revolve this area. Um, around the x-axis, and we're going to get each cross-section is going to look like a washer with outer radius x to the n and inner radius x to the m. Um, so that'll be so the area of that washer then, so a of x is going to be equal to pi times x to the n squared, and so that's the area of the disk with the outer radius. And now we want to subtract the inner radius, or the disk with a radius equal to the inner radius. So minus pi times x to the m squared. Or is this is just equal to pi times x to the 2n minus x to the 2m. And the volume that we're interested in is the volume from 0 to 1 of pi times uh, x to the 2n minus x to the 2m uh, dx. So this is equal to pi. Uh, Now the integral of um, x to the 2n is going to be x to the 2n plus 1. And divide that by n plus 1. Minus uh, the integral of, or minus uh, the integral of x to the 2m is x to the 2m plus 1 over uh, 2m plus 1. And this should be 2n plus 1 as well. Uh, and evaluate that from 0 to 1. So this is equal to pi times, let's evaluate it at 1. Uh, we get, uh, now evaluate x, x uh, equals 1, that is. So not to confuse that with n or m, those are fixed. So 1 to any power is just 1. And that's 1 over 2n plus 1 minus uh, 1 over 2m plus 1 minus uh, 0 to any power is 0. So 0 minus 0, or just 0. And we get a final answer of pi times 1 over 2n plus 1 
minus 1 over 2m plus 1.